everybody and welcome! As you may have already seen, Jeff Bezos unveiled Blue Origins Blue Moon Ladder a few days ago. This thing is big and it is meant to bring 3.6 metric tons of cargo to the surface of the moon, weighing 15 tons itself, fully fueled. And well, as you know me, if such a nice little contraption is being presented, I always try to recreate something like this in Kerbal Space Program. So let's get right to it. Alright, as is appropriate, I also made a new Glen replica, as you can see here. And we're going to get this thing in the air right about now. The real new Glen is supposedly capable of getting 45 tons of uh, cargo into low Earth orbit and yeah, it is supposed to fly in 2021 for its maiden flight. Jeff Bezos confirmed that on the Blue Moon event himself. So this here is of course well capable of quite a bit less to be honest because the seven engines in the back are not nearly enough to get 45 tons into orbit but that does not matter because this is just meant to lock the part not actually be able to do all those things all right first stage separation and we're continuing on our two uh, liquid fuel engines there we go and as is appropriate, we're also going to try to land the booster because yes, New Glen is also supposed to be capable of landing its first stage booster, which is huge by the way, because it's supposed to be 7 meters in diameter. Here I'm only using the 5 meter part, so we're not at 7 meters yet, but for Kerbal Space Program standards that's very big indeed. Okay, and I tried to land this on a ship, as Blue Origin tries as well, and yeah, things did not go as expected. Again! Of course, this is a very tiny target in a vast ocean of water, and this was very close indeed towards the ship, but not nearly enough. Again! Then there's the problem of fuel, if I have to oversteer and correct every time, then yeah, nothing left. Again. And in the end, I managed to get onto the boat, but with a little bit too much energy. So, well, you know what that means. Again. Yeah, so supposedly the ship should be a lot better bigger than this because yeah as you can see <laughs> yeah, there might have been a size mismatch between booster and that little ship over here and well that reminds me of a classic you're gonna need a bigger boat yeah let's see how how blue origin will fare in the real world with their new gland landing on a moving ship by the way so not the stationary one a moving ship uh, fortunately, we were close enough to land that and was able to fly the booster back to the KSC and then the landing gear gave way, but I didn't care about that because, as you may know, Kerbal Space Program and the landing gears, they are a bit wonky. Anyhow, let's get back to the main mission. You see here the second stage, the upper stage, heading towards Apoaps. And once we're out of the atmosphere, we can get a better look at the Blue Moon Lander replica that I made. It's kind of an octagon shape, uh, at least as what we've seen from the event and that announcement video. And as in the presentation and in the promo video, I, tr uh, I decided to pack four rovers on top of that universal cargo adapter thing, which is basically just a plate. So yeah, very easy to get things onto a flat surface. So yeah, supposedly that's the reason why they decided to go for that. Hmm, wondering why they had to think three years about that. No, just kidding. Okay, now we're making our way to the moon. The second stage has still enough fuel left to get us there. There we go. And we need to do a little correction burn because we're a little bit too steep and our periapsis was already inside the moon. Well, that would hurt, wouldn't it? Oh, 
why the moon? Well, uh, there was this, um, let's say, declaration of Vice President, uh, US Vice President Mike Pence, that they want to go to the moon until 2024. And Blue Origin said, hey, we got you covered because we're working for three years already on something like this. So, yeah, maybe this will be the first thing to go to the moon. And we see here it could also deploy some CubeSats while doing that. That was also part of the presentation. And while they're tumbling away, we also get a good look at the beautiful blue of our home planet. In this case, Kerbin. Those CubeSats could also be used for communication between the lander and the planet. So yeah, a lot of uses there. The single engine will be a BE-7 that is still in development and they want to hot fire it for the first time in summer, this summer. Let's see how that goes. And of course, it needs to be highly throttleable. Reason for that is because, well, once you start your descent burn, the lander is 15 tons, and once it's over, it's only 3 tons. You, so you gotta be really precise with your throttle. And yeah, that's going to be a challenge, I think. I'm not sure uh, that Blue Origin has that much experience with such high throttleable engines. And we're deploying a rover, contrary to the David system, as Bezos called it. I just decided to let it drop to the surface because it would have been too much of a hassle to build something like that in stock KSP without any hinges and pulleys and whatever. But I'm hoping for the new DLC to come around to maybe fix that. Alright, another good look at my Blue Moon interpretation, but there is also another variant. Yes, Bezos uh, meant that there will be an elongated version, which I did not uh, replicate over here, just put a capsule on top, and that elongated version could be capable of sending an ascent vehicle to the surface of the Moon, and then use that ascent vehicle to get back into orbit around the Moon, Apollo style. And I really hope that this won't happen in real life, that, yeah, the Kerbals have to, or the astronauts have to surf on top of their lander because it's sliding down a slope, even though it's supposed to uh, be able to land on 15 degrees inclination or incline. So, yeah, once we did our surface operations or whatever, we get back up into our lander can or a synth vehicle, whatever you want to call it. And then we head back up to orbit. So this is a really simple design. It's just a lander can with some tanks on the outside and two engines. And not sure if you can see it already, there's a docking port nested within the decoupler. It looks weird, but it totally works and it's a great way to sort of save space when you want to put a docking port in there and don't have any place left. And it can also smoothly dock this to any other 2.5 meter parts in orbit and it will look great, I promise you. But today we're just going to get into orbit around the moon and then marvel at the beauty that is space across the surface of the moon. And then look at our origin, our blue origin, basically. As Carl Sagan put it, the pale blue dot, the only home we've ever known. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Also, you can watch one of the two cool videos shown on the right. Thanks for watching, goodbye.